the Sunday show is on the way in an hour here on BBC One Scotland for Sophie Rayworth with Sunday Morning. The dust has settled. New lines have been drawn after council elections across Britain and historic election results in Northern Ireland. The Conservatives have had a torrid time, but what will that mean for the Prime Minister's future? Labour made some gains, but fresh revelations last night about Keir Starmer's curry and beer sucked the wind out of their sails. What we're left with is a fascinating patchwork of results across the UK. Can anyone claim victory? Who are the winners? Who are the losers? And what does it all mean for the future of a United Kingdom? To make sense of it all this morning, I'll be joined by the Deputy Prime Minister Dominic Raab. The Conservatives lost almost 500 council seats in Great Britain. Was it midterm blues or were voters punishing the Prime Minister for lockdown parties and the cost of living? I'll be talking to Labour's Lisa Nandy. The party made big gains in London but didn't make significant progress elsewhere in England and now they have a police investigation into their leader to contend with. The Liberal Democrats say Ed Davey has a lot to smile about. His party gained more seats than any other in England. Was it a protest vote or will he translate that success in the polls in the next general election? And what does lifelong Tory Alan Partridge make of all this? Steve Coogan joins me as he tours the country in his new show. What really binds us as a nation is when we, all of us, together, can't stand something, like speed bumps or anything changing. And joining me to decode all of the results, rumblings and wranglings this morning, The Spectator's Fraser Nelson and GB News presenter and former Labour MP Gloria De Piero. But first, the news with Roger Johnson. Hello, good morning. Thank you, Sophie. Sinn Féin has hailed a new era for Northern Ireland after securing a historic victory in the elections for the Stormont Assembly. For the first time, the Nationalist Party claimed the most seats and pushed the Democratic Unionist Party into second place. The US and UK governments say that both parties now need to cooperate under power-sharing rules. Pressure's growing on the Labour leader, Sir Keir Starmer, who's being investigated by the police to see if he broke lockdown rules by drinking with colleagues in an MP's office in Durham last year. The Mail on Sunday has published an internal Labour document suggesting that time was set aside in advance for those present to have a takeaway curry. Sir Keir maintains that it was a work event and no rules were broken. Fears are growing for the 2,000 Ukrainian soldiers thought to be under siege in the steelworks in Mariupol following the evacuation of the last civilians from the site. President Zelensky has said that negotiations are underway for their safe passage. It comes as the UK government announced an extra £1.3 billion in military support to Ukraine over the next year. That's it from me. The next news here on BBC One is at one o'clock. Now back to you, Sophie. Roger, thank you. Let's look at the front pages this morning now, starting with the Sunday Times. Their main story there, Sinn Féin uh, win reawakens Brexit tensions. And the photograph there, which is in a lot of the papers this morning, of Sinn Féin's Michelle O'Neill with Mary Lou Macdonald, the president of Sinn Féin, um, after that triumph for them in Northern Ireland. The Observer, uh, same sort of headline, seismic Sinn Féin victory fuels debate on the future of the Union. The Sunday Telegraph, that photograph again. And their main headline, Housing Crisis Cost Us Votes. That's uh, an interview with Michael Gove. And it says that Tories have to learn lessons from the election losses um, as anger grows at the Prime Minister. Uh, the Herald um, on Sunday in Scotland, broken Britain, do staggering local election results prove the death of the Union is now inevitable, is the question that they're asking. The Mail, like many other papers, focusing on Beergate. Uh, Keir Starmer's Beergate story blown apart by the leaked memo which the Mail on Sunday have got hold of and which is widely reported in the other papers. The Sunday Express, their headline, PM promises Brexit bills bonanza. This is looking forward to next week's Queen's speech and it says that it will slash red tape, boost growth and make the UK thrive. And the Mirror and the Sun on Sunday, both focusing on royal stories. Uh, Just William, this is uh, the news that 
the Cambridges are going to scrap protocol and use first names only on duty. And the Sun on Sunday, a photograph which um, I don't think Prince Harry will particularly enjoy. Um, but it's about what will happen when they come here for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. And Telly Crew faces clamp over Jubilee. This is their Netflix uh, documentary they're filming. Will they be allowed to film any of it? or not. Well, Fraser Nelson and Gloria, Gloria De Piero are with me this morning to go through all of these papers. Um, let's start with the headlines that Labour really would not have wanted to be seeing this Sunday, Beergate. 